have we got some tea for you so what's up ladies thank you for tuning in be sure to subscribe to our channel we're so excited to be back i'm kimba the natural diva and i'm your sister girl dr barb and together we are b k naturals, naturals. okay now you know <laughs> <laughs> So this particular segment is an answer segment. We had a number of subscribers asking questions, specifically questions around pH balance. So we talk about pH balance all the time because it's super, super important. But I think that there's some confusion because we talked about the idea that your body should be more of an, in an alkaline state and yet your V ladies prefer to be in an acidic state to kind of function normally. So let's talk about how to do both, right? How to stay balanced with your body being basic. I mean, not that you're basic, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Alkaline, because we ain't basic. Divas don't do basic. Um, and how to keep your bee very happy with being acidic. So Dr. Yes. Bob, talk about the importance of being an alkaline body. Right, so the normal pH in your blood is 7.4, which is more towards the alkalinity. Um, so 7.0 would be neutral, and then above seven would be alkaline, and below seven would be acidic. So as far as you know, the normal functions of your body, um, anti-cancer, just healthiness, it's good to keep the pH a little bit of you know at 7.4 or um, a little bit slightly higher than that not too much higher right. but um, slightly higher than that and there's a lot of um, lay research um, in you know the um, um, in the press about um, alkalinity and keeping mm -hmm. your body alkaline and um, all the be health benefits of that. So we do want to do that. And there are a lot of foods right. that do promote uh, more alkalinity in, in your blood system and your bloodstream. Mm -hmm. um, and that does keep you healthy. However, in the vagina, um, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different, exactly. So yes. Dr. Barb was kind of schooling me on some of the differences, because I know I always talk about the fact that it's important to have a balanced diet. And without even thinking about what's happening, I think your body kind of takes care of itself as long as you're eating enough of the right foods, right? So making really good decisions. But it's interesting that whatever you eat, whatever you ingest is metabolized and then it gets absorbed into your bloodstream. And that's where the alkalinity becomes important, right? So those particular foods that promote an alkaline environment need to be ingested so they're absorbed into your bloodstream and keeps your blood alkaline. Got mm -hmm. it? That's step one. Think about this though, and Dr. Barr, you know, clarify or correct me if I'm wrong, but your blood is not necessarily flowing through your vagina unless you're on your menstrual cycle. So every other time, it's in your vessels or your, you know, your bloodstream, but it's yeah. not necessarily affecting your vaginal cavity, right? Right. So, so it's not cavity, just sitting, the blood is just not, not just sitting in the exactly. vagina. Right. Now, part of the key to keeping the pH in the vagina more acidic is keeping the proper uh, bacterial sort of milieu, right. exactly. the balance. Mm -hmm. So if you remember from our previous videos, when we talk about the vagina, you have good bacteria, bad bacteria, and you have some yeast as well. Mm -hmm. And so the good bacteria uh, is what we call the lactobacilli. Mm -hmm. And they call lacto because they produced lactic acid, acid which right. is an acid. So when your vagina is producing lots of lactic acid, mm -hmm. it will be more acidic. Mm -hmm. It will have an acidic pH. Mm -hmm. Now that lactobacillus is a sign of healthy uh, vaginal flora exactly um so that's how it keeps the vagina acidic mm -hmm. um that perfect balance now there are certain things that will contribute to that such as probiotics mm -hmm. um probiotics just as a whole just keep the bacterial milieu in the body uh very well balanced exactly um, yogurts that's why we talk about yogurts all the time mm -hmm. there are active bacteria that by the time they reach your gut they're actually helpful in just being dispersed where they're needed specifically in your vaginal cavity as well. So these right. good bacteria kind of find their home. They kind of know how to stay in their own lane, get it? And they'll get to where they gotta get to. So that makes yeah. sense. Remember, it's the cavity versus like the bloodstream, right? right? Um, and so that's the difference between keeping a pH balance of more an alkaline in your blood versus acidic in your vagina. So now there right. are foods, we can talk about different foods that promote acid or an acid environment um, that you can actually ingest that will help promote some of the goodness that goes on your vagina, including cranberry juice, also good for your urinary tract, 
um, yogurt we mm -hmm. talked about. Sweet potatoes, I love. Great alternative to white potatoes or even rice. I do sweet potatoes sometimes as my good starch. Uh, avocados. One, one caveat to the cranberry oh, yes. juice is that a lot of the commercially available cranberry sweet. juices have a lot of sugar, yes. so that kind of counteracts uh, the cranberry. Mm -hmm. But you can get that. You can get the acidity that you are seeking in cranberry pills. There you go. Yeah. So you can so do pills as well. The or pills. Unsugared, like unprocessed. Well, unprocessed, but it would be extremely. Sweet bitter. Yes. Like yeah. Bad, hard bitter to drink that. Yeah. It was just not going to taste good. Right. So that's why they fill it up with sugar. But again, sugar is, sugar feeds yeast. Yeah. And it's going to do the opposite mm -hmm. of what you're trying to do. Yeah. So good idea. But again, everything in moderation. So don't be yeah. guzzling cranberry juice, right? But cranberry pills, if you really, really Cranberry need pills exactly. work very well. Yeah. So I mentioned avocados. Love avocados. They're a healthy fat for you anyway. So ladies, we need our juiciness, ladies. We need our curves. <laughs> avocados can help you. Look at the shape of an avocado. It kind of tells you like it has hips. We have hips. Get it? Pear shape. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> um, apples are great. An apple a day keeps the OBGYN away too, right? <laughs> well, you don't want to keep me too no, far don't. away. I do. <laughs> she's not your doctor. <laughs> um, we talked about um, seeds and nuts, but specifically almonds, which are like amazing for women. Um, pumpkin seeds. I feel like there's like a shape thing going on here. Anything yeah, that's like, like rounds a, and kind mm, of like a hipsy look. Yeah. Probably good for you ladies. Look for hipsy shaped foods, yes. I suppose. <laughs> um, we have hot chili. So people who like spice, chilies actually helps to affect the acidity of the vagina as well. So I hope that helps you guys understand how to do body in mm -hmm. a more basic or alkaline state versus your vagina in a more mm -hmm. acidic state. So, and you know, the healthier your diet is, the the more your body will kind of take over. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. again, everything in moderation. So as long as you have a balanced diet, um, then every, your body is naturally going to take care of itself. You just have to give it what it needs. Okay. Absolutely. So this video was short, sweet, and to the point, hopefully, but yes. I hope that answers your question. Yes. So, that's what we got, ladies. And if you have any further questions, uh, please comment down below. Right. Um, you can share, maybe your question might be the next question that we address in one of our upcoming videos. We got a lot. Because um, we do get a lot. Mm -hmm. And so there are things that sometimes we just need to clarify for you. Um, but comment like definitely like our Let's like our, our like, videos yeah we gotta like, the, like get our these videos likes up, ladies so we yes. can do more show us that you're loving it show them that you're in tune even if you don't have time to listen to the whole thing get through most of it because it's great information and get through 99 percent 99.9 girl 99 and a half won't do Song. Anyway, <laughs> get through 99 exactly. percent, but you know, and then definitely subscribe. Um, just because it's we're interested channel. in yes. what you have to say, and um, it's a reciprocal situ um, relationship that we have with you guys. So we're getting from you, and you're getting from us, and exactly. we'd like to share the information. Um, and we love so your comments. So hang in there with us. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna wrap, but as we say. That's, That's the, the T for, for your, your V. v. Bye, ladies. Bye.